G'day, this is Nurki, the Aussie Otaku. Otaku, 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 Otaku. Today's topic of discussion is called desktop activists. Now, there's a new breed of armchair activists. Armchair activists used to be people that would sit on their couch, never actually do anything, but proclaim to support different causes. Now, there's a new type of them. They're called desktop activists. It's a term I made up myself. It's copyright nooky. Um, with these desktop activists, they sit on their ass, type stuff in websites and forums, and proclaim to support different causes. Right, now, I'm not saying everybody who's in groups in Facebook is a desktop activist. I'm just saying that the majority of them are useless and never do anything, okay? Now, Facebook is a mecca for these useless pieces of shit. None of them ever actually do anything. But they join all these different groups on Facebook, and they proclaim to be supporting a myriad of different clauses. Some examples are, I have po actually posted them up on my own Facebook group titled, Official Petition to Ban Gullible Idiots from Facebook, Just Say No. Um, one of the groups, an example, is titled, Stop Knife Crime Now. Hmm, there's too many people being stabbed. If I join a group on Facebook, this will make a difference. There's another group called Stop Human Organ Trafficking. Hmm, the Chinese government is abducting people from Falun Gong. If I join a Facebook group, I'll support them, and they won't be harvested for organs anymore. But my favourite is the one titled, Real Men Don't Go to Whores. Stop human trafficking today. Okay. Millions of people are stolen every year in the human slave trade. Hmm. Millions of people every year are abducted. Hmm. I know if I join a Facebook group so that people know I exist, I won't be abducted. No, you fucking halfwits. Joining a Facebook group is not going to get things done. Back in the day, there was a thing called direct action. People got up off their fucking asses, did something, protested, blew up buildings. But now, it's all been stigmatized under the banner of terrorism. So, say for example, Greenpeace would be considered terrorists. People who liberate animals from shelters and places where they're abducted and treated like shit would be classified as terrorists. The true terrorism is not in the effects of the bombs and kidnapping and ransom demands. The true effect of terrorism is stopping people from doing what they normally would do in order for society to continue, such as being activists. If you're going to proclaim that you're an activist, do something about it, you useless piece of shit. Get up off your fucking ass. Get out in the street, make a difference, do some direct action. Otherwise, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. Now, I'm adding this as a postscript while I'm doing post-production, before I do the rendering. If you think that this video means that I'm a heartless piece of shit, that I don't care about any of the causes, and that I'd rather be ignorant, go fuck yourself. The point of this video is to illustrate that a lot of the people who proclaim to be supporting these different causes are actually doing nothing about it. If your only argument against my point of Facebook activists being useless is that YouTube activists are useless. How is attacking my credibility going to detract from the fact that desktop activists who do nothing are fucking useless and that people need to get up off their ass? All they do is click a little box and say, I support this group, and never hear from them again. These are desktop activists, not real activists. They're just faux poor, and they're never actually going to do anything real. And in preemption of anybody saying, making a video on YouTube isn't going to make a difference, I've got one thing for you. Fucking hell.